HA is a 17-year-old company. At this point, we are a mature company. Our products are known in the marketplace because we make really interesting products that people want. From the key line to the Konas to the mini converters to the FS1, they're unique products that are out there that are in demand that solve problems and help people be more efficient. The Key Pro introduced this whole new way of working and to be such an integral hub of the production environment is very exciting for us and sort of opens up our minds to other things that we can do. The work that I do these days ranges greatly. Uh, it could be a commercial, it could be a music video, it could be a documentary. When you're on a multi-camera shoot, oftentimes you have a wide variety of camera types. I could have an F35, I could have an EX3, and I could have an HVX200. And I could put a Key Pro on all of these cameras, four or five cameras that are all recording on the same file format. So being able to shoot in a digital medium gives us a quick turnaround time. I literally could be shooting and editing and posting in the same day. We've actually done some really interesting user stories lately of the Key Pro being used in environments that we didn't necessarily expect. Multiple Key Pros being used not just for ISO cameras, but also for editorial purposes of ingesting material and just having an easy way to move stuff around. Since it was introduced at NAB 2009, I think it's exceeded even what we had expected. When we were originally designing Key Pro Mini, we didn't just want to take Key Pro and shrink it. We wanted to take a subset of the most logical things that would fit in the smallest package. The Key Pro has a range of analog connectivity for video and audio. It has a range of up-down cross conversions that are hardware-based and real-time. Those things don't exist in the Key Pro Mini because we felt they weren't necessarily needed. We just wanted the smallest possible way to record ProRes in any environment. And that was really the thinking behind the Key Pro Mini. I'm excited about using Key Pro Mini, first of all for its size. The portability of the product is going to be a big advantage, especially in small spaces and doing handheld. One of the things I'm happiest about with Key Pro Mini is what we were able to fit into such a small package. And certainly on the audio side, I think that's it's quite remarkable. So not only do you have the analog XLRs in the back that support mic line and phantom power, you also have meters. You have the way to control levels. You have a headphone jack and controlling levels of that. You have even embedded audio in the unit. It's quite remarkable what we were able to fit in there, not just on a video level, but audio as well. The Key Pro Mini has a few mounting options, which gives it a lot of flexibility. We have a Anton Bauer mount. We have a V mount or if I wanted to put it on my EX3, I will have a hot shoe mount and I can mount it there. The Key Pro Mini gives you the same web UI that's on the Key Pro. It allows you to drive every function of the unit that you would normally drive through the buttons or through the menu system right on any web browser on any OS. and allows you to control the unit even if it's in some remote location. You know, there's a million places where the Key Pro Mini could be used and especially because it's based on CF cards, which is solid state flash memory, you're going to have a very robust system that can keep up with the rest of the production gear. The ability to use compact flashcards is a huge advantage for us as well because a lot of the digital still guys on set are using compact flashcards. If for some reason I'm running low, I could probably grab a couple of cards from the still guys or if I had to, I can run to the store and grab a few quickly and you know, keep shooting. We try to make things extensible and we use technology that allows users to upgrade significantly features right in their edit suites or right on set. And the Key Pro Mini certainly carries that along. The version one feature set is very mature because we were able to leverage from the Key Pro. To us, support is not a commodity. We don't sell it. We don't dangle it in front of people. It is the core of what we do. Because we all have production backgrounds and broadcast backgrounds, we understand how vital it is to just work. Oftentimes on set, you're throwing curveballs. And with this, I can take those curveballs and, and sometimes hit a home run. <laughs> <laughs>